Hi, I'm Jesse with Mastercam, and in this video, I want to show you the advanced toolpath display functionality in Mastercam 2020. In this example, we have a pair of 3 plus 2 dynamic OptiRest operations that are roughing both sides of this part. For now, we're going to focus on only one toolpath, so I'll turn off the display of the other toolpath by selecting it and hitting the T key on my keyboard. To access Advanced Toolpath Display, I'll go to the View tab and click on the Advanced Display under the Toolpaths group. In the Graphics view, Mastercam is now displaying the Microlift repositioning moves in brown and the Toolpath Feed moves in blue. Let's concentrate on just the feed motion for now. To do this, I can turn off the display of any motion I don't want to see, such as entries, exits, and rapid motion. Now we have a clutter-free example of just the feed portion of our toolpath. Let's turn off the advanced toolpath display and look at a real-world application of this function and how it can be leveraged to get some visual feedback on how the G-code is going to look. To do this, let's open the parameters of the first OptiRest operation and look at the arc filter tolerance parameters. Notice I have a fairly loose 0.05 millimeter total tolerance and my arc filter is turned on. Now let's compare these settings to those of the next OptiRest toolpath. I have a much tighter tolerance here and no line arc filtering is turned on. It's important to understand that there's no right or wrong when it comes to the settings on the arc filter page. These settings depend completely on your process, the machine you're cutting on, and what your machine's controller wants to see. Mastercam gives you the flexibility to tailor the code to your specific needs. Since we know that the tolerance settings for these two toolpaths are very different, let's look at the toolpath motion in the graphics window. You'll notice that if I turn on both toolpaths, I have no way of knowing that they are using different arc filter settings, since they look identical. That's because we're still looking at only the feed motion. If we want to get a better picture of how the G-code is going to be output, we just need to go back into the advanced toolpath display and turn on endpoints. Now, each line of G-code is represented by the segment between each endpoint. If I want, I can also change the color and options that Advanced Toolpath Display uses, and my changes will be visible in the graphics window as I make them. Now that we have these endpoints displayed, we can start to get a feel for how much code we will have when posting out. If we look at the second toolpath, we can see that it's broken up into much smaller segments. Remember, this is the toolpath that was using a tighter tolerance and had arc filtering turned off. Tolerance and arc filter settings have a massive effect on toolpath output and calculation. By turning off the arc filter and tightening up my tolerances, I'm giving the machine far more code to handle. Thanks to advanced toolpath display, I can examine these differences in a quick, easy, and visual way without having to post the code.